This week, Kent Police announced how antisocial behaviour has decreased by 11% in the last year. That's around 5,000 less incidents of antisocial behaviour on our streets throughout Kent, with Ashford seeing the only rise. And at yesterday's performance and delivery board, Police and Crime Commissioner Matthew Scott praised the work done in towns and villages to help combat antisocial behaviour. The numbers show that there is good work being done by local community groups, PCSOs and the police in helping to combat antisocial behaviour in the last few years. But residents here in Gillingham aren't convinced by the numbers and say that if anything, in recent years, the problem has got worse. Antisocial are going down 11% on antisocial behaviour. Where they get that figure from, I really do not know because we are still troubled with it. I'm even scared to go through that alleyway of a night time when it's dark because of the kids congregating. I've been swore at, I've been intimidated by walking through that alley of a night time just to go to the local shop. I'm not going to do it no more. A recruitment drive is already underway for PCSOs in Kent and Medway, as well as in recent months new powers being given to them to help tackle antisocial behaviour and other problems. But despite this, residents in Gillingham have highlighted what they say is a lack of police presence on the streets. We don't, we've got no trust in the police force whatsoever, so we are looking at the ways around it that we can deal with it. Do we go further afield? Do we move out? We've got residents that want to move out of the area because of the antisocial behaviour. Malcolm says that anger about antisocial behaviour has been added to by an increase in waiting times for 101 calls, which in recent years have gone up from 30 seconds to more than three minutes. If there's antisocial behaviour in the area, you need to talk to your local police officer or to somebody that's in the offices that, that, that can actually deal with it. People don't want to keep phoning 101 if they're waiting that amount of time. Police say that around 20% of the issues raised on 101 calls could be dealt with on their website and say that 999 calls just have to come first. We try very hard to deliver a quality service at all times, whether it's a 999 call and a 101 call. We know we don't get it right all the time. We get to people as fast as we possibly can and do the best service that we possibly can. You know, And if, if we're not doing that, then we always recognise it and try to improve. There's no doubt that residents are still genuinely scared about antisocial behaviour in their area, but with an 11% decrease in ASB, police efforts do seem to be tackling the issue. Harry Pete for KMTV in Gillingham.